Chris Copeland left his small Ohio hometown almost six years ago to make his living in Nashville as a rising country star. Although the road has taken longer than he planned, he has tied himself in with Nashville's hockey franchise, the Predators, after writing the theme song Smashville for the team. As the regular season winds down and the playoffs get set to start, many Nashvillians hope this will keep the team and the fans excited for more hockey. I'm here in the studio today with Lewis Copeland. He is going to catch us up on some exciting news. You've been a busy guy. You're working on a new project here yeah. at Sony, and you're also just had a huge theme song for Smashville for the Predators. Yeah, uh, yeah. We, um, you know, working on uh, my current album here at Sony ATV, and it's going really well. And uh, you know, we're really excited about some stuff that's coming out. And uh, and yeah, you know, we've been um, doing Smashville. It's a song I wrote uh, back in October for the uh, Predators. I'm a huge Predators fan, and. Uh, you know, just kind of had the idea one day and uh, and wrote it, and it kind of ended up working out as, you know, something that we could really give to the fans. So, uh, you know, really excited about it. Absolutely. So you are a big hockey fan, and so you're just at the game and came up with this idea. I mean, how did it really happen? I mean, you went back and wrote it, and then yeah. were able to get it to the right people, and you perform it at the games. Yeah, totally. It was, um, you know, it was just uh, one, you know, one day, um, it was, whenever I was, I was at a game one day, and I saw, uh, you know that they kind of pushed the Smashville idea a lot, and you know I, was, I always thought that was really cool because uh, you know it just really fit with the with the whole hockey Nashville kind of deal, and it's like um, I always thought you know for a long time you know it'd be cool if there was a song called Smashville, but of course being in Music City USA, you would think that it, it had already been done or something, you know. And um, I remember googling it one day and uh, realized that it it hadn't been done yet, and. Um, so you know, I just kind of you know just kind of set on the idea, and and uh, one day I heard a Preds commercial on the radio, and I started thinking about it again, and you know it all kind of just came together for me in my head. Talk a little bit about because you got your start on Lower Broadway pretty much, and and performed there on a weekly, nightly basis. Talk a little bit about that. Exactly. Yeah, I, I actually I moved to town when I was only 20, and um, I uh, I started working the door at Tootsie's. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it, it was uh, it was totally random, and I started working the door at Tootsie's, and the uh, one of the guys there asked me if I sang, and um, a band didn't show up, and I had to play a gig, and next thing I knew. I was playing gobs of gigs there, and then um, I left there, and uh, Brad at the stage offered me the Saturday night, uh, one night back in the alley. He said, you know, our Saturday night's open. Uh, we'd love to uh, have you try it out. And, you know, I think that Broadway was such a good tool as far as um, learning so much, you know, about everything, learning about how people work, learning about what people like, learning about, you know, um, all kinds of skills and, uh, you know, uh, from being a musician and, and, you know, working with great musicians. And what's cool about Lower Broadway is, you know, other artists have to go out and tour around the world to, to find the fans, and the mm -hmm. fans come to you playing at those venues, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. You know, you, if, if you really think about it, how many tourists come through town, um, especially in the summer, um, from all over the world. Um, you know, uh, it's it's pretty amazing how many people really see you, and um, you know, with with how internet's become this huge, uh, you know, this huge monster of of just the connection and the networking. Uh, you know, I I find people that that come you know to my Facebook and my Twitter and and from all over the place, and you know, they'll say you know, oh, we saw you at the stage or we saw you at a show, and it's uh, pretty amazing. It becomes pretty real, you know, um, after you start seeing people from. Europe and Australia and places like that. She's got her sundress on and her cowboy boots. And that tough green her hug brought out her down home roots. She's got it going on. She's got it going on. For all the Lewis Copeland fans out there, where do they go to check you out and go to your Facebook page, uh, lewiscopeland.com? lewiscopelandmusic.com, um, facebook.com slash lewiscopeland, and uh, Twitter.com slash Lewis Copeland. Good to talk to you. Thanks, Lewis. Thank you. Lewis Copeland, everybody. She's got it going on. Now it's time for our weekly songwriter tip, brought to you by Nashville Songwriters Association International. This week, we check out former A&R guy Kirk Boyer as he talks about pitching a select few songs to an artist at any one time. Once you've decided 
which pool of songs fit within the guidelines. What you want to do next is make sure that you only pitch one or two songs per pitch opportunity. This is much more impressive. It shows the person that you're pitching the song to that you understand the process. And also what it does is that it allows them to get through songs faster so you know that your songs will be listened to before someone else. Check out NashvilleSongwriters.com for more information on NSAI. That's about all the time we have for this week's show, but don't forget that new music we have up for grabs this week from the Roys. You can enter this week's drawing online at InsideMusicRow.com. Now, if you want to get Inside Music Row on your mobile phone for the best in country music at your fingertips, just go to TrueCountry.tv and get the True Country channel. Don't miss us next week when we hook up with family man Craig Campbell. We're going to leave you today with the latest from Little Big Town, Kiss Goodbye. Until next time, I'm Bailey for Inside Music Row, and I'll see you again real soon.